What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Ah! I'm sorry, I just had to get that out of my system because I've been waiting so fucking long to watch this damn movie and it's about damn time. Prince of Azkaban. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, basically I've been reacting to uh, Harry Potter for the first time, the books, and every time I finish a book, I would do the movie. But, um, so with that being said, I just finished Prisoner of Azkaban uh, yesterday or two days ago. But I needed to watch The Chambers of Secret, which I will say I enjoy. I did enjoy the movie and I did enjoy the book. But that Prisoner of Azkaban, that shit ain't. Even the first Harry Potter, I don't know if I was just so like obsessed and caught up into a new world but i was a huge fan of it so the second one was kind of like a slowdown for me the third one ate so i'm real geeked to see how the book adaptation plays out oh, i'm just looking at my team i'm hyped already cousin harry i'm coming i'm coming so i'm excited to see how it plays out and it's literally just like 12 in the afternoon it's currently snowing in nashville and this is how i'm spending my my winter time and bitch, I ain't got no complaints. You can see the smile. I don't remember the last time I was cheesing this hard. I've been cheesing so much. <laughs> Thinking about Cousin Harry and our whole family. Then my cheeks are starting to hurt, girl, and I'm dead ass. They literally hurt. I need to <laughs> be serious. Right, I need to be like Snape. My boy Snape say Harry Potter name. It just sound like, you know, he just fucking cursing. Potter. Potter, of course, is up to this. Potter this. Potter that. Snape. I love you, but we're gonna change your name to Snap because you stay snapping and ready to get on my cousin and his whole friend group. I will say I do love Snape. The first movie, y'all know I hated him. And I don't know what it was, but something about reading Prisoner of Azkaban, I just started to like sympathize with my boy more. I started to like understand. And I understand Harry and they crew too, but it was just something about me and Snape. I feel like we him. Also, I guess we, while, while I wait on my damn food, I guess we can talk about, um, I wanted to wait till after the movie, but I just finished Chambers of Secrets last night, and, uh, girl, I so many damn thoughts. I will say, first of all, <laughs> shout out to that casting director, Woo! Daddy Malfoy, the whole squad, girl, bon appetit, mucho caliente, girl, Kitty was purring, and Tom Riddle, Oh my God! And don't even get me started on Tom Riddle. When I tell when I tell you, they making it so hard for me to be against the bad man. Whew, girl, they making me want to be bad for these men. Hello. So uh, that was great. I always love Hagrid. I'm trying to remember Chambers of Secrets because I waited to watch the movie, but my mind is still like so caught up in Prisoner of Azkaban. Let's see what else happened. I, mean, I think we're gonna do the we're gonna do the whole debrief after I watch Prisoner of Azkaban, baby. Let's get it! <laughs> I, need to, I don't know why, girl. I be living by myself just hyped up on the simplest things. But it's Harry Potter, so there's a reason to be hyped up. Girl, I lost my remote, so I gotta use my phone. But let's get it. Oh, uh, someone told me to peep that every time the WB continues to get darker and darker. That's crazy. My boy gotta do homework under the sheets. Fuck them dustlies. Yeah, go on and go to sleep, I feel you. <laughs> That's how y'all was when the Harry Potter came out, pretending to be asleep under them sheets. Yeah, I'ma tell y'all parents, I know. Not the dog eating off the plate. I know Dudley wanted a bite of his food too. Oh, but you get on my nerves. Again. She was already insufferable in a damn uh, book. Not the dog, you get it, why? Baby, they are aging in this damn movie. My cousin Harry looked five the first one. This one, he looking 15, 19. Shit, he gonna be 40 by the time I watched the last movie. Oh. <gasps> There's something wrong with the bitch, and there's something wrong with the <gasps> I can't believe they said that. Yeah, I heard. That's what I'm talking about. He got opportunity looking like Big Mama from Mark Lawrence. Looking like Nutty Professor. Busting out of all them clothes. I'm surprised you wasn't busting before he put that spell on you. Go ahead, Big Mama. Lay back, lay back. You about to start floating. Look at Dudley watching, playing. That's gonna be you in a couple years. Keep on eating my boy Harry Potter food. Look at him. Ah, uh, yeah, she really ain't floating. 
The magic in these movies be crazy. I be loving it. <laughs> it's one thing to like imagine it in your head, but then to see it like show up in the movies, I feel like it's so cool. Oh, she didn't do the whole backflip out the house, girl. Talk about a modern a modern day kite. Not him slowly time trying to get her. Now nah, go on and go. Tell my boy Jesus what's up. Matter of fact, I think you might be going a different place. Hope it's cool down there. Hope it ain't too hot down there. And a Hudley Dudley still eating. Oh Lord. I ain't even gonna lie, that food kinda looking good. That is one thing I can always say about the food. Uh oh Harry Potter, baby they be grew up in what is that Hogwarts? What is the Dusty family? His family. His parents. Oh, Harry fed up. First of all, back up with that funky bro. Oh! Oh, hell no. Oh, ah! I know who you are. Is that serious? Girl, what in the world? Well, that's the question, isn't it? He's the first one. That's they talking about my bestie serious. It's really the fact I really thought he... Girl, JK had me. The fact that I thought Sirius Black and Lupin was ancient, I really thought the fingers was going to be pointing to them by the end of this movie. Girl, the way they driving remind me of one of my friends. <laughs> Slow down. Wow, they just going right in the top. Ah, that is crazy. The bus just gets skinnier. Baby, I wish that's how life works. Uh, I love Ron's mom. If Ron don't throw that damn right away. I'm in disgust. Look at serious. That's so cool how the people on the pictures and the arts be so real and like moving. Girl, Harry staying dang. Boy, 13 years old, fighting for his fucking life. I was out here fighting for a juice box and some dino nuggets. We different, cousin Harry, but I love you. I did not in trying to suck my boy Harry Potter's soul or face off. Lupin got up from that sleep. That slumber. So crazy. I can read a book and literally, even though I'm watching the movie, there's parts that I forgot from the book already. <laughs> so this shit always gonna be yeah, new to me. It's all right, it's chocolate. I love how when they sick, they literally can just can have chocolate. Ah, wow, stay sick, girl. What was that thing? <laughs> Mama! I want to give me that double dark chocolate out the doggone cabinet. Po favor. Hello. Excuse me. I need to have a little word with the driver. Could you imagine being here with Potter Friend? It's always some shit going on with him. In the beginning, it's fun. After a while, it's like, player, can we take a break? You fainting? Or you seeing shit? You screaming? I just want to go to recess here, Potter. That's all I want to do. Go to Hogwarts, eat, and then go play outside. But they could never. They have symphonies, they be eating good. Bitch, I was having three day old pizza at my dog on elementary middle school. We out here eating pasta and fucking lobster, steak, chicken. Hey, Daddy Dumbledore, that's my grandpappy. Professor R.J. Ah! Oh! Against the dark arts teacher. Good luck, Professor. Hey, what's up, Lupin? Girl, I feel like everybody that I hated in the beginning, I'm a huge fan of. Once I find out that they on the good side. Shut off the mouth, boy. Just forget it. Other than our own Rubius Hagrid. I forgot Hagrid gonna be a teacher. That's my bestie. My big bestie. He's knocking down everything, but I love you. 
motherfucker deserve it. The Mentos of Azkaban. Until such a time as Sirius Black is captured. Okay. Got a sister at Hogwarts, period. Hold on, she's sitting next to Harry. Let me find out Harry like that chocolate. One thing about Dumbledore, he always got them quotes like a grandparent's. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. And he said something about it's not about what you choose or it's, it's not about what happens to you. It's how you, what you decide or what you choose. Bro, I thought this part was so crazy. I even highlighted it in my um, book. It was a foreshadowing part where Professor Trelaney, I don't know how to pronounce her name. They was looking in a cup. And so Ron had read Harry's part and was like, you're gonna suffer, you're gonna go through a lot of trials, but in the end, you're gonna be happy. And then when I got to the end of the book, I reread that part and I was like, it's so true. Harry went through a lot, but he was happy because like he found Sirius Black and um, the permission slip. You're gonna suffer, but you're gonna be happy about it. And it was so true. So I just thought that was just a small nugget that they dropped and by the end he was truly happy. I love Harry Potter, girl. Grim. I'd be joking saying that's my cousin, but like I really feel like we family to some degree. Like my my love, I girl, I do just about anything for him at this point. My love runs deep, thicker than blood. Hello, bitch. Your life already hard as it is, and the fact that Hermione was going back in time. To do, to take multiple classes and to get all her work done. Wow, girl. You couldn't pay me to do that back in school. Just one time. And she was doing it twice. Get a chick a war, baby. Talk about going above and beyond. That was my school motto. I said, yeah, yeah, I ain't doing all that, girl. I'm, I'm just here because my parents told me to come pull up. And my friends here. Hello. Ah! Hagrid is a full on teacher. It's crazy. Isn't he beautiful? Maybe Hagrid love his animals. Oh, that's Book B! Hey! I read about you, player! Hey, I read about you, player! You gonna go through some trying times. Hello! Like Jesus, they tried to unlock my boy. But he thou shall re re resurrect. Hello. Damn, Margarita got be actually speaking in tongues like my boy Harry Potter. Who'd like to come and say hello? Well done, Harry. Well done. Hello? <laughs> it's giving Twilight. Team Edward and Team Jacob. Oh! Uh oh, Hermione. I peeped the way she grabbed my boy Ron hand. Blame it on being frightful or scared, whatever the fuck the word is. I know Hagrid. I know Harry be fed up with Hagrid. He was not trying to get on that damn. Uh uh. Ain't no seatbelt or nothing. And you up in the L? Yeah, that'll be the last time I pull up to Hagrid class. Hell no. Nah. But my boy Bugby, he got you, Harry. Don't I mean, not me out here trying to comfort Harry, nor my ass scared of heights. I could never. Mm -mm. <laughs> Would just go on and close my eyes and say, "Take me, Jesus." Poor favor. <laughs> Hello. Speaking of girl, we about thirty minutes into it. What drink up, Daddy? At? I'm just trying to see some. Hello. <laughs> if you know what key mean, or shall I say this kitty? Hello. Oh no, look at Harry. Hands all up. Oh, you feeling yourself. You feeling yourself. What are you doing with me first day? Brilliant. Uh -huh. <coughs> Here come Draco. I always yeah, ready to start some shit. Dangerous at all, are you? Yeah. Great, I've been... <laughs> That's exactly what your ass get. I don't even feel bad. Go on and take his ass to uh, Nurse Perfumery, whatever her name is. They're gonna give Hermione a damn heart attack. I swear, she got the blood pressure probably a 60 year old. Between Harry and Ron, Hagrid, everybody at school. Plus, my bitch going fast forward into time, going backwards, trying to do classes. <laughs> She's so stressed. She's too young to be that stressed. 
That's what happens when your friends and my cousin here, man. Never a dull day. Which also, why did somebody comment? Most people commented on my um, Instagram talking about some. Wait, you and Harry are Harry Potter are cousins? Can you explain? It's a fictional book, Rebecca. It's just it's just a term. I never thought I had to say that, but yeah, we not blood related. I mean, Harry Potter. If you couldn't tell by the complexion, uh, maybe that didn't give it away either. Hello. Get the raid. My boy is really scared of spiders. Not the tapping shoes. I love it. It's the budget for them Harry Potter films. <laughs> Cause the magic, I know it didn't cost a dollar. Y'all didn't get this shit from the dollar store. It was a check and then some. <gasps> Ooh, not the snake. Yeah. I would have been scared of that one too. Ryan Pookie. I forgot she ain't black. She just gonna stand there. Yeah. Not Harry being happy looking. Now you know shit really about to go down. As soon as Harry step up, something about to go down. Oh, not the Dementors. Come on, looping a real one for getting in the way. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Forget the permission slip rules. You know them Dusties ain't about shit. Let my boy Harry go. Yeah, got it, guys. Uh. I ain't never seen them in regular clothes. This shit look foreign. Oh, Harry in a hoodie? Yeah, I told y'all that's my cousin. A black hoodie? Let them know we from the streets, Harry. Tell them we get down in that H-Town. Hello. Hey, I'm from Houston. Harry lives in Hogwarts. I'm telling y'all we related. Y'all better stop playing. What's going on? Probably never should go past again. Hey. Uh, back, all of you. No one is going to this dormitory until they just do what he says. Baby, my bestie Snake be so damn serious. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Where's Professor Lupin? Paula, now you know he don't fuck with you. Don't mean to ask no questions. Felt incapable of teaching at the present time. Ooh. Turn to page 394. Girl, seeing them play, playing in a dog on rain is crazy. Not even the rain of the storm. And you know that shit ain't fake. Wow. I still get amazed every time I see the Quidditch. I just think that's the coolest game. I don't know if the author came up with that or if that's what they be doing in the UK, but. Well, duh, they can't, they can't fly, but I don't know, but I think that's just so cool. Get the snitch! But never be a snitch. Hello! Wonder, how do the birds be knowing where, or not the birds, the owls be knowing where to go? Like Hedwig, or when they like, the parents send them a letter to school? But I, I mean, I know it ain't real, but I got, he got some questions that I'm gonna need some answers to. Thank you. Oh, the snow. Now I'm starting to realize when people said Harry Potter is the perfect like winter movie, I get what they mean. Cause especially I guess cause it takes always takes place during school season, the winter time, it's snowy. The castle is given like that dark gothic academia vibe. Bitch, I can't wait to watch this every Christmas. It's, it's my new tradition. Fred and George, always up to no good. I love them though. <gasps> the Madras map! Hello. Like I said, baby, they stay eating good at Hogwarts and Hogwarts Land, Hogsmeade, wherever the hell they at right now. Hold on! Is that Manacle Watch Spy? Bonnie and Ron? Oh, of course Draco gonna pop up out of nowhere. Don't your family sleep in one room? Your mouth don't get tired from talking so much shit, Draco. Oh, I forgot. This is the part where Harry invisible. Walk him like a dog, Harry. Hey, that's actually so cool. The way he's under the invisibility cloak. But I like the way they show it from like his point of view. It's like a little foggy. Okay, shout out to them creative directors. The I wanna say the blue tubers, the CGI's. Y'all be doing your thing. Yeah, that's cool. This black girl is amazed. Hello. 
and remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. <laughs> Yep, that's your god, Pappy Player. He was that friend! <laughs> Harry and the screaming. It's giving no run! No! Oh, period. When he does, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> My cousin Harry say he not little man, he big man. <laughs> like a big man. Alright. I don't wanna sit your hungry ass down so what here. I just thought about it ever since Harry came out the wall. He's been fighting for his life. All my life I had to fight. I know he tiger. Harry should have been trusting his fighty fucking senses. That should say Peter Pettigrew all over. Who is that? Oh, not Daddy Snake. Strutting about the castle. <laughs> My dad didn't strut. Oh! Nor do I. Tell him he wasn't the next door, the America's next door top bottom, whatever it's called. Turn out your pockets. Not, not turn out your pockets. Turn out your Snape, it's, it's, it's giving bagger. It's giving guy on the street. What you want money from my boy here for? Parchment, really. Oh, the Definitely. parchment. Parchment. Sound like that expensive paper. I wonder if Michael Scott knew anything about that player. Dwight should have put you on, Michael. Oof. Girl, I, I just started trying this new little uh, Moscow Mule. I think that Moscow Mule is mule in, girl. Ah, uh, ooh. Got me feeling like an animal. It got me feeling feisty. Wow. Fuck scabbers. I'm sorry. I just had to. <laughs> I, the rare, it reminded me so much of a cat mixed with a rat, and I just have to let y'all know where I stand. Because in 2024, you gotta stand on something. If you ain't standing on business, what? If he's snaping, that bob be bobbing. Ah! Let him know. Uh uh, stay in, stay hidden. Just like my daddy was. Stay ghost. Go Casper. I, I love Lupin for this part. <laughs> the way he pretended, he was like, I don't see shit on this paper. Snape, you're just crazy. But what's new? Everybody at Hogwarts been telling you that. Hello. Are you deaf? Put that light out. Oh. Oh. I'm gone with that little bob. That shit is necking, girl. What type of bundles is that? I like that bounce. I need that. I need to tell my hair styles about that. Baby, I forgot how sassy Hermione was in this damn movie. Should have knocked down a damn crystal ball. Pick it up! Along with that detention that's gonna be on your desk next time you come in out of class. Hello. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, Hermione. That's my cousin. We don't we don't play about that. Either you're gonna get this wand or you're gonna get this arm. Hello. Come and know you know Dumbledore. Says he wants to be with him. I swear I love Hagrid so much. What it happens? Great man, Dumbledore. He is. No, you just put your TV off. Oh, before you do, scabbers. Girl, fuck that rat. Those are all your pets, Ron. He gonna leave a scab on your heart because he ain't shit. Girl, Harry really be fighting for his fucking life. That shit crazy. Like, no, and I could just barely. I barely just want to get out of bed. This man be having to learn spells and everything. Fight these grown ass adults that's just jealous of them. Haggard and these animals, baby. We got to get you a job at the zoo. I think that's what it is. I feel you, Hermione, but I need you to hush. You're just a kid. You don't know what's going on, Pookie. You're honestly, I'm a grown ass adult. I didn't know what was going on in that book either. Thank you! Sirius has been on that same level. I'm on that same level with Sirius. Peter! Where that fucking rat at? Get the trees and get the trap. It's time for him to go. Not Snape, girl. This it's like a family reunion. Everybody's showing up in this damn movie. Let's kill the rat, uh, then we can get to chatting, okay? Hello. The wrong conclusion. 
Now we get excuses. Remus and I have some unfinished business. The snake be ready to set it off on anybody. We need to find my boy a lover or something. Wow. Scabbers was literally in Ron's family for 12 years. So he was out there scamming Ron family for 12 years. Oh, and he bald headed. Ugh. Ah! I smell some, and it's a wrap. And I am talking about scabbers. Hello. Oh, serious and hairy. The way they went line for line for a lot of the scenes that happened in the book, I love it. They go that damn rat in the background. Somebody expel a ram and his ass back to a rat. I'm tired of hearing him yell. Thank you. I love what they said in the book though, because when Snake was like, "You gave your," or no, when Lupin was like, "You gave your friends away," and he was like, "Because Baltimore was gonna kill me," he was like, "Well, you should have died." Then to give your friends away, I respect that. This is my favorite part in the movie. Her book. Ah, I wish you could have stayed with serious. Bag up. Oh! These creatures are. I might gotta say a prayer before I go to bed. It's spooky, all right. Girl, you the meant to stay trying to take my boy face off. Man, oh, damn. I wonder how they was gonna do that. What the hell? What just happened? What's wrong? Seven thirty. Where were we at seven thirty? Girl, poor Hermione. We we stressing this little girl out. <laughs> she said, "Where were we, girl? I don't even know what I had for lunch, and that was twenty minutes ago." Wouldn't be able to tell you where you was at at 7.30, Pookie. My bad. Love you, though. This really touching my heart. Bugsby do not want to leave. He love Hagrid. Well, you gotta go, Pookie. Of course, you gonna be going to somebody else's house. Hello. I feel like low-key Dumbledore knew what he was doing by showing them the opposite side of where Bugsby was at. This man know everything. He probably already had this shit planned out. Let him know, Dumbledore. We must touch the ground. So touch the skies of the Boss Minister. Meanwhile, I'd like a nice cup of tea. Love Dumbledore for that. I feel like me, Dumbledore, and Hagrid get along just with. It could be the smallest inconvenience. I need a drink. Life is going well. I need a drink. I woke up. I need a drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding if my AA person is seeing this right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not even in it. I'm not even in it. That part broke my heart in the book when, when Harry was like, it was my dad. It was my dad. And her mind was like, but he's dead, Harry. Harry was like, baby, I know. <gasps> but that's my daddy. Fuck, I really hope Sirius Black is able to come back. Cause it seems like Harry always gets so close to having a great life, a happier life, and then shit always hit the fan. <laughs> they did say God give his hardest battles to his strongest soldiers. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't the strongest. Hello. Hopeful Harry girl, that's what we should call him. Okay, Hermione. Girl, that creature needs some damn. What is that? A werewolf? Needs some meat on his bones. Need to take him to my grandma's house or some straight bones. Come on, hell yeah! Is this serious? Black? I don't remember who, who, which one this was, or his dad? No, his dad ain't here. Look, I'm sounding like here now. 
Professor Lupin's having a really tough night. All the Dementos, girl. Serious. Baby, my cousin be yelling with every fiber in his voice, girl. Expecto a Patronum! <laughs> I'm just gonna start yelling that and somebody get on my nerves. Oh, I love how a lot of the verbiage matches up. So when he's on, um, after he does his little Patronus, and Hermione, you're right, it wasn't my dad. It was me. Ah, they freed my boy Sirius! Free at last, free at last! Hello, baby. But, um, so when he's on it and he says, Hermione, you're right, it wasn't my dad. It was me earlier because I've done it before so I know I can do it again. It's literally the exact words that's in the book and I love that so much. I'll be forever grateful for this. The book, I know that he wrote a letter instead of saying goodbye like that. But you're innocent and you know it. And for now, that'll do. Aww. I expect you're tired of hearing this. Uh -huh. They're your mother's. Yeah, my mother's eye. And you can always find them. Uh -huh. In here. In your heart, Harry. That's where our family stay, in your heart. You really are the brightest switch everywhere. Baby, Hermione is that girl, period! <laughs> Without her, what would Harry and Ron be? I love her. I'm obsessed with her. I think especially if I would have read this as a kid, she would have been like my fucking Hannah Montana. She would have been my it girl. Who I aspire to be. My bitch smart. She's sassy. She it. Hello. What? Oh, they gotta go back. They gotta go back to the hospital. I forgot about this. Uh, Ryan gonna go crazy again. Honestly, how can somebody be in two places at once? Lupin, no. I saw you coming. I've looked worse. Ah! He leaving my boy with the mouth. Lupin is a real one. I don't care what I said at the beginning of this damn book and movie. <laughs> I was mistaken. My bad. Yeah, Pookie. You gonna be back on that broom to whoop Draco ass next season. Baby, just like a kid, he running outside. I love it. Off, off and away, Harry. I saw this way that I'm up to no good. Girl, you and me both, cousin. Oh my god, that's the ending. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Bitch, I'm hype. Hey, bitch, I'm hype. Hey. Bitch, I'm hype. Come on. I'm trying to get this TV to pause. Whoa! Prince Daryl, ask him back. That shit's so good. Now I be knowing why. Oh, let's get the hell out of me. Now I get it when um people would say that they would watch Harry Potter like every Christmas season. Or one friend just texted me and said she do it every month. And it wasn't until I watched the first Harry Potter. I'm not even kidding. Right after I finished it, I restarted it. And that entire week, every day when I wake up, I would just have it on the background whether I was reading or doing whatever. So even with Prisoner Rassman, I'm like, oh, bitch. I'm already ready to watch it again because I know there's so many things that like... I don't pick up on and like I miss out on even with me having read like the books before him but I do get what you girlies say when y'all say um the books be better than the movies I've never been that person I'm always like just uh, I just appreciate art for what it is I'm grateful to have it like because you did not have to blow a check on this movie but you didn't I'm grateful for that but there was some shit I was like oof 
that didn't really happen like that in a damn book y'all 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 making a conversation shorter it could have been longer but i do understand it is a film so everything is not gonna be perfect but overall i enjoyed the film oh me two weeks later so i'm currently editing this video and i just realized i never finished the um video i want to say that uh follow me on tiktok and instagram because by now actually yesterday i finished goblet of fire and i filmed a whole vlog that i will be posting after this and let me know if y'all will want me to go before I start the fifth book. If y'all will want me to do a video of me breaking down like my thoughts. I know people are curious about like the way I annotate uh, the books, the notes that I write down in my uh, notebook as well. So let me know if you want a video like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm also I'm sorry about the shakiness. It was my first time. I think. The next time I film my reactions for Goblet of Fire, which I'll be watching this weekend, I'll just have my um, camera on like a stand. But I hope y'all still enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I want to keep coming with the Harry Potter content. So if you have any ideas or any requests of Harry Potter videos you would like me to see, um, comment them comment them down below. And if you are new to like my TikTok and Instagram, that's where I typically post all of my reactions like live and every single day. But yes, I've never seen any of the Harry Potter movies, let alone read the books. So I'm doing that for the first time. Every time I finish a book, I'll watch the movie. So try not to drop any spoilers in the comments. We done gone, what, two and a half months with no spoilers. So let's keep it that way. And yeah, baby, we on YouTube. Hello. Baby, I have to take 24 hours to process everything that I read. But now let's recap this crazy shit. Hello. First up, Justice for Crochet. My sincere apologies to Hermione Cat. This entire time we thought she was out here trying to play a game of Tom and Jerry when bitch was trying to let us go. I'm about to scream again, Scabbers. Was up to no fucking good. Next up, this one really had me bit. The time turner. The way I kept telling y'all, I was like, Hermione is giving sassy. She's giving sassy. I was like, what's going on with sis? That time turner shit changed the fucking game. And the way they was able to go back in time, save my boy serious. Save um, what's the guy name? Hagrid's animal as well. Bitch, that's iconic. And I can't wait to see how that shit transform in the rest of the books and movies. Then, like I said in my other videos, I am in love with Snape. But honestly, his name needs to be turned to Snap. Because the way he be snapping on everybody, he even told Hermione, my bestie, to shut up. But I was like, hey, do your thing. And can I just say, I was truly surprised with the emotional pull that this book had on me. I cried multiple times. It really warmed my heart to see that even though Harry didn't have his mom and dad, to see Sirius, to see Hagrid, to see Dumbledore, like I feel like he's creating his own family. Ah! And I'm so damn bummed he couldn't go live with uh, Sirius. But hey, he got that permission slip. Hello. And the part where Harry kept thinking that he saw his daddy and he was like, you did see your daddy. You saw your daddy in yourself. Bitch, I broke down crying. Also, maybe it's just me, but the way Ron and Hermione continue arguing, it's giving old couple. It's giving enemies to lovers. And bitch, I'm peeping everything. Hello. And yeah, I don't know how the hell y'all was able to read this shit at the age of 9, 10, 11, 12 and be fucking okay. The way I would have been like, fuck that juice box, fuck that homework, give me a fucking detention. I would not be able to function properly after reading something like this. Hello.